in association with the Right Eye Productions broadcast. This is Ty at Night. Hey, can I get a refill? Indeed. You have all you want, sugar. On the hat. Bon appetit. No hot down. Yes! Yes! This, this is another episode of Ty at Night. Follow us on SoundCloud, YouTube, Twitter, and of course, TyAtNight.com. Comfort Foods. <laughs> yeah, comfort foods. Yeah, they're supposed to make us feel good, warm and cozy, even nostalgic. They're often carby and high in fat, salt and sugar, but not always. But <laughs> damn, they taste good in a time of need. That's what this episode is about. Let's chow down here and munch on some grindy. Tired Night is on the air. Yeah, there's a huge range of comfort foods, of course. Come on. Side dishes like french fries, potato chips, mashed potatoes, not to mention desserts like apple pie. And how about chocolate chip cookies? (laughs) Oh, man. Don't even get me started on other dishes like mac and cheese and even hearty soups. Yeah, those are all comfort foods. With websites like CozyMeal.com, FoodDrinkLife.com, or even Two Cooks in the Kitchen.com, everybody's on the quest to satisfy the need for comfort food. In 2019, a study by Hot Schedules, a restaurant and hospitality software company, revealed that Americans eat out a lot more than they thought. In fact, 56% of Americans told the company they eat out two to three times a week. Holy camoli macaroni. Which does, by the way, include both restaurant dining and ordering takeout, such as a fast food drive through And of course, with any food establishment, these diners definitely have a wide variety of options to choose from to satisfy your culinary needs in a time of comfort. But in recent years, folks stay closer to home. I mean, come on, who has time to go out at 11 o'clock at night looking for grandma's recipe for ground beef casseroles, a crock pot recipe, or the multitude of recipes you didn't know you could make with a cake mix? To that point, when I go to the store, I look for the BOGO deals. Yeah, my motto is stay stocked for when life becomes a crock. I don't care to get out at 11 o'clock at night looking for these meals. I want something now. That's why they call it comfort food. So stay stocked. Extra potato chips, extra mac and cheese, ice cream, a couple of extra bottles of wine. I'm not cooking no four course meal at 11 or 12, even one o'clock in the morning when I've had one hell of a day. Uh Uh-uh. Why do you think all of these food apps have taken off. (laughs) Do I sound like an idiot? Of course I am. In fact, that's a nicer name than what my ex would have called me. (laughs) I just want some food in time of a need of comfort. Let's talk food. So uh, I'm going to phone a friend at this point. (laughs) Yeah, we had this guy on last time we did this comfort food episode. His name is Chris. He's based out of Seattle, and Seattle has a hell of a lot of restaurants, and they know how to do comfort food right. And I thought, what better way to help this situation than bring on Chris from Seattle? Chris, what's up, buddy? Well, Ty, first of all, your show sounds great. And is growing, which is amazing, right? Yes! And so, let's talk comfort food. The Sun Downer Syndrome. Let's order a pizza. (laughs) Can never go wrong there. We have all done it. It's getting late, and pizza is great. I'm telling ya. I agree with your BOGO take. Stock up on comfort supplies. No matter your status in life, you know? Not just in Seattle. (laughs) Can't go wrong with chips. Uh, what else? Uh, a bucket of ice cream, chocolate, or or even wine. It's all fine. And remember, those Seattle pancakes, <laughs> extra fluffy ah, and yes. puffy. Yes, we talked a lot about that on the previous episode of Comfort Food. And of course, Chris was on there. And uh, Chris, listen. Thank you so much, Ben, for spending some time with us here at Ty at Night. Always enjoyed love talking food with you, brother. Cheers, my man. 
Happy Comfort Food Day. And you know what? Thanks for having me on the show. All right, guys. Until next time, okay? See ya. There he is, Chris from Seattle. <laughs> this has been another edition of Tie at Night in association with the Right Eye Productions broadcast. Hanging in there like a rusty old fish hook. This is Tie at Night. And everything's all right now to sight. At night, to your delight and not fright, I wish you a big bite of something. <laughs> Tieatnight.com. That's a wrap.